It would obviously be a lot more helpful if I had some thrust on the huge shuttle side. Especially since it's half the mass. It's not that easy to control something like that. I mean, because the shuttle in relation to stack was only 1 20th, maybe 1 15th of the mass of the whole space shuttle stack. Um, with a shuttle that's half the mass, it's sort of different. Uh, it's a Nerva, it's not going to have much effect on a launch where we have 4,000 kilonewtons. I mean, if you want to see what it does, it's not going to do anything. Oh, backflip. We'll wait till it settles down a bit more. Maybe that's good. Okay, that works. Okay, <laughs> can we can we nose up at all? We're probably going to need a little bit more control than this. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's better. It's not what I consider good. It'll eventually go awry, but you can see the pitch. I, I've let, let go of the control stick, and the pitch is slightly uh, going down like that. And this will make the test a lot easier if I can do this. Because it'll give us some horizontal. Okay, uh, okay, I can't do that. <laughs> uh, okay, well, it gave us some horizontal. Oh, it's got flip. Okay, cleared. Okay, other way, other way, quickly. There's still a prograde vector with some velocity there. Come on, pointy thing. You know you want to point in the direction of the velocity vector. Now, of course, on a real mission, this thing would be coming in very fast. So obviously, it'd have a lot of horizontal velocity. Can we flatten that without stalling? I don't know. I mean, the stall speed of this has to be really high. Landing gear down. And this is still 57 tons right now. I don't know about its maneuverability or anything. I don't feel like I want to test that. Let's just see if it can land. It feels like it wants to stall right now. Um, it's a thing. It's a spaceship. I have... I, 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 I probably shouldn't try and make it fly. But I'm making it fly. But it's probably going to stall before I get to the ground. Might as well just apply the brakes right now. Pretty sure the pilot's Devin. Oh, oh.
Well, we obviously need a few more struts here and there. But, uh, it's very much a shuttle. I mean, it, it flies like... I mean, I don't know about its turning, though. But okay, it's, um, it can land. Let's see, that's say a song, Thrall is up, and launch it. Much wiggly. Maybe turning off the aerodynamic surfaces would be a good idea. Hold on. Well, we're marginally more stable now. Whoa! just as I was saying that. Alright, still very squirrely. Oh. Probably lower the thrust right now since our thrust rate ratio is pretty high. I don't know how much time to have since we need. Probably quite a lot more than I've got going here. Yeah, I don't think there's enough fuel. Well, let's see if the... the thing can fly. How about that? But then again, if I separate and change vessels, I can't revert, huh? Let's see how far off we are with the cuttlefish gun. Well, this will be a very steep re-entry. Trying to lessen the steepness as much as possible. And yes, you make it less steep by speeding up. Also, this serves to lighten the load, of course. Okay, here we go. Let's not physical time warp through this. On a full re-entry, I don't know. Uh, it seemed like the landing gear was overheating, or maybe the RCS port. I can't, couldn't tell. But... Um... Yeah, I don't know if it would survive on a full re-entry. We gotta try and land over here somewhere. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, come on. Keep her steady. Okay, maybe not over here. Maybe over there. That looks a lot bumpier. This one might be a little bit harder than last time. Uh. Well, okay. Slow down, slow down, slow down. Okay, well, anyway, um. I, I actually want to revert because otherwise we may not have debris from the other thing. Come on, Rocket, be more dramatic. Jeez. This 
decides to wiggle around instead of making a great liftoff. Oh, there's no Separatrons on the on the speedboat. Shoot, I put those in the VAB last time. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey. Okay, set. Well, we have to jump back from, uh, to the speedboat paradox, that's why I'm doing it like this. In fact, we might be able to do a re-entry test with this one as well. Now this has no RCS, it's got one reaction wheel, and no power, and its control mechanism is... Okay, okay, I don't know how it was being controlled before, but... It's okay. I mean, I haven't even checked the center of mass and center of lift on this thing. No idea. I'm deliberately at a higher angle with this one. Well, like, uh, it's gonna flip, it's gonna flip. Uh Oh, this is not good. This is not good. I bet it's, you know, COM and COL are in weird places. If we have fuel left, I'd probably pump it to the nose to get the center of mass all right. Parachutes? There, there aren't any chutes. This was supposed to be a splashdown vehicle. Well, it's not gonna splash down. We're over land. Sort of part of the problem here. Splashdown only works if you're, you know, over water. If we were over water, this could potentially still survive at 40 meters per second. Hold on, hold on. I have acquired prograde. Uh ah. Uh. Um, it's just, it's just all bad things in front of me. I don't think I can make a clean landing of this anyway. Prograde or no prograde. Ah, uh, come on. Oh, shoot. I did that too quickly. Right. Well, those aren't mountains. Those those are def well iceberg. What? They're they're mountains. This one might end up splashing down for all we know. Okay, we've got some heating. Uh, we're flipping. 
Don't do that. Boo! Hmm. It's a little bit more, shall we say, s turny than last time? Much more s turny Okay. This is not going the same way as before. Hmm. Let's see. No, that's not why I wanted to select. Just in case it's a center mass issue. Where are we? Well, we could hit land. We might end up splashing down. We'll see. Probably land. Ow, 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 we skipped, we skipped. And ow! That was harder than I wanted. Ah, uh, we lost a Nerva. We lost a Nerva. Shoot. probably don't need quite this much gimbal. It's going off to one side for some reason, I don't know. Maybe a little bit early to correct that. No, it is definitely the craft itself. What's up with it? There is a definite tendency to one side, though. Yeah, there. That's that's definitely indicating that there's something wrong here. Ah. Uh, th this side has all the fuel. We've got a fuel flow problem. This isn't designed to come back down. This is designed to go around places. We're not, we're not supposed to bring this back down. That's why we took off all the wing pieces. Whoa, 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 hey, hey. Whoa, what? What are you doing? Oh. It's flipping around. Hmm. It's like it's going down instead, but it's actually going up. I didn't think uh, the atmosphere could force you to flip up here. That is weird. Now this doesn't have any payload on it, and noticeably it doesn't actually have room for payload. It's more of a fast interceptor kind of thing.
They could probably carry some science in the bay, though. Okay, well, this has made orbit. I'll just leave it here.